What's up? It's Chris from Big Beak Social Club. Um, I'm just recording because I said I was going to record every day and I'm that wacky. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this week I'm doing a um, review on The Art of Saying No. A uh, great book that helped me through my experience. I then also am going to start putting out some videos of when I started this project. Um, a lot of people were like, why the hell is this guy posting? Why this guy, why is this guy, uh, think he's all that in a bag of chips, which I don't think, but a lot of people in my DM say, yo, what are you, what the fuck are you doing, dude? And since when do you think you're a motivational speaker or something? I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'm a motivational speaker. I don't think I want to be that but it's wild that you're DMing me thinking that like I don't feel that way I'm just I'm just talking my jazz and that's it um, so today I'm going to talk about the noise uh, it's something that I took time to analyze in the month of June it's called the noise everybody has the noise it's a uh, mortality life death fear resentment it could be people people's opinions uh, it could be music it could be the chaotic world that you're living in it could be multiple devices the noise could be your job the noise could be a spouse the noise could be anything that you basically have no control over how do you either calm down the noise or take over the noise uh, that's one of the things I did in June in June I, uh, I decided to uh, basically live in my basement <laughs> which is kind of wacky uh, especially that I have a wife kids and they had to experience me either trying to write what I was feeling inside at the time what I wanted to put down either in a book for them so I could give them something to explain my concepts, my ideas, my life. So I'm not looked at like, damn, this dude was crazy. And I uh, broke down each cartoon, what the cartoons meant. Um, bro broke down each idea, brought down each, uh, wrote down each trauma. And gave it a point to, yo, this is how I felt then. Wait, this is how I felt this time. This is the person that I'm creating now. Because um, self-development, self-improvement is not for everybody. Once once you start doing it, people are like, what do you mean you're you're not doing this no more? What do you mean you're, you're doing this now? What do you mean you think you're an artist? What do you mean... You think you could write ideas down and probably do something. Listen, I'm sorry, I can. So can you. Uh, it doesn't matter what noise you have or where you want to take your creative side with your noise. You could draw, you can sing, you can write, you can start a business. Whatever your creative side, can you take the noise use that as some sort of fuel for creativity that's basically what I did um, I took some of uh, either my childhood stories childhood trauma then teenage years then I took some of my careers and I created cartoons and I created emotions that are attached with these cartoons I then want to tell people about these emotions tell people about these cartoons there was times where I worked construction and I learned valuable lessons can I pass those lessons with pass the hammer there was times I was in law enforcement I learned valuable lessons and can I pass those lessons to somebody else then can someone else believe in the cartoons or the idea so much that they could then create something for themselves where they could self-brand or self-develop 
some sort of way of them self-improving. Um, uh, here's the bridge I, I, I run on. Um, I'm up to six miles. Um, I got something going on. I haven't dropped it yet. It's for dads or for anyone. Um, Big Beaks is a marathon. So I've been training to run long distance. In the future, I'm going to be dropping an idea that I've only shared with a few people, especially uh, some dads that are also doing some 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 sort of self improvement, especially in this world that's full of, full of noise. Um, I got this idea, and I've been sharing it very very smallly, uh, very in the shadows. I've been sharing the ideas in the shadows. Um, I put this idea that I'm going to run from Beacon to New York City and uh, see if any men next year or any people that are doing some sort of self-development want to take the jog with me. And it's going to be a long jog. It's not for everyone. So that's why I haven't been telling people. But I'm going to go with one of the concepts that it, I drew is Gump Beak or Gump Syndrome. And I'm basically going to get on my feet and start fucking jogging to the city from Beacon, New York to New York City and see if I can make it. Uh, I, I'm calculating it's going to take about 20, 22 hours. Um, I don't know yet. Um, I haven't got into actual outdoor work besides being at the park. Where I calculated six to eight miles at a good, good, steady, easy jog. Anyway, so drowning the noise is not for everybody. I mean, some people are okay with the life that they're living. Some people are okay with, listen, I'm, I'm actually living a good life. I'm okay with just doing what I'm doing. I wasn't. So I took a nose dive into books try to give myself some wisdom and try to create the person that you're listening to now. This did not happen overnight. Nothing I have done to this point has been overnight. Um, that's my Big Beats rant. I'm probably going to post this. To, I just drop them on the YouTube. If you listen to it, you listen to it. If someone comes back in the future. So this is how I self-analyze what I'm doing could what I'm doing now someone five years from now say holy shit this dude put in the work years ago to be where he's at now to become the person that you want to be it takes time it takes self-development it takes creating this I call it S.33 that's point thirty-three, um, but I'm gonna get into those cartoons in, in a later day. I don't want to get you all confused. Anyway, have a good evening. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Do you? Uh, words that I tell people to to uh, be a better you. That's what Big Beaks is. That's the Beak way. Then also, if you find something you love, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Have a good night. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon.